I'm going to tie Hammer Creek's little foam caddis. I'm starting off with a size 14 dry fly hook and device. And I'm going to use an 8 aught rusty dun for my thread. So I'm just going to get that started on the hook shank here. Trim off the excess tag. And I'm going to build just a little thread body. And really all that I'm doing with this is covering the hook shank. I'm going to tie most of my materials on top of the hook shank. So I want to make sure that I can cover it the best I can. I'm going to take my, thr or my hackle, and this is just a furnace hackle. I'm going to remove all the bottom pieces, clean that up, and then I'm going to tie that in again right on top. And I can trim off the excess. So the main body for this is uh, tan, um, and this is just a craft foam that I use, so I'm just going to bring this thread down all the way to about the point in the hook, the barb of the hook rather, and I'm going to take my foam, and I've cut it just into a, a small, maybe a quarter inch or eighth inch section or so, I'm going to place this right on top, and I just want to extend just a little bit past the bend in the hook. I'm going to angle it towards me slightly because my thread's going to want to spin it around. And now all that I'm doing is advancing the thread and I'm trying to do it in nice even segments here because I'm laying the groundwork or the tracks really for my hackle. So I'm going to bring my hackle up through all of these turns. I'm not counting segments or anything like that. Just making nice even wraps to bring my hackle up through. Alright, I'm going to leave that tag end of the foam on. I'm going to be using that here in the pattern as well. So now just to make this a little stiffer, I'm going to add just a drop of Zappa Gap on there. You can use head cement or nothing at all. And then I just do it so that it really tightens up and is a little bit more durable. All right, now that I have that, I'm just going to start making my my wraps through. And on the back, since it was the starting point, I'm going to do two wraps, and I'll bring my hackle up through the rest of these and I'm also going to do two wraps or a wrap and a half rather so that my hackle is tied in on the top so that when I cut it off there's no stem or anything like that hanging off. So I'm going to trim up all this top part. I just want to make a nice base for my next material. Uh, now, the <clears throat> wing that I'm going to use is a mottled turkey, so I'm going to take off a section of it. So I've got that off, there's two ends, this is the one closest to the stem, it's uh, real stiff, uh, and then as it goes out it gets So it's stiff here at the bottom, and as it goes further out, it gets uh, a little bit more pliable. So I'm going to trim off the section that's a little bit more pliable. Just make a nice even cut, and I'm going to put this, tie this in right on top. So I'll set it over, pull straight down, and all I'm looking for is to make sure that it's on centered. I'm going to take just a small drop of head cement while I'm here and again not a necessary step we'll add some strength to the pattern and now I take that tag piece of foam that I had that I left on there and I'm just going to double that over and I'm going to make it its head so I'll pull straight down And then I can whip finish under here. You can either whip finish underneath by the eye, or you can take it right into through the, through the
through the head. I'll trim that off. All right, now it's just real clean up. So I'm going to take clean up around the, the eye here where some of the hackle may have pulled through. And I'm going to tr trim up this. And all I'm going to do is hold it right by the thread and just make a straight cut. And that's going to act as my head to this pattern. I'm going to take make a straight cut on the back of it and then I can come through and I'm just going to make a little V for aesthetics if you want to make the turkey a little bit more pliable as well you can add uh, Hairspray works real well to give it a little bit more durability to the pattern. So that's it. Pretty straightforward. Just a foam and some hackle. And that is Hammer Creek's Little Foam Caddis.